Hi guys, I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome back to my channel. So for today, I wanted to do another reading for 24 hour challenge. I had a lot of fun doing this last time and I figured I'd do another one for you guys. This one is going to be a reading for 24 hour challenge but specifically reading a fantasy. So I'm really excited for this one. I have a couple of books that I've been really wanting to read so I felt like this is the perfect occasion to make it happen. By the way, do you guys like my sweater? I got this beautiful Coachella sweater. I got it oversized because I absolutely love lounging in oversized sweaters. It's so cozy and comfy. I'm going to be wearing this today for our reading for 24 hour challenge. So yeah. Okay, so the first book I want to read is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I actually got really interested in reading this book because I saw one of my favorite booktubers, Haley Pham, raving about it. So I'm super excited to read this. I absolutely love the cover. It's this gorgeous rose gold color. And the art in here is beautiful too. Look at this. It's simply gorgeous. I absolutely love that. I love it when stories have like a map because it gives you a visual of what to expect in the storylines. And the next book I have is the second one to the series. It's The Ballad of Never After. And the last book I'm going to try to read for the 24 hour challenge is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. This is the third book in her series and it's gorgeous. I love the hot pink color. Honestly, I don't know if I can get through all the books, but I will try. This one's a really thick one. I think this one is about, let's see how many pages it is. 703 pages, which is very long, very thick. So yeah, I'm really excited for this reading for 24 hour challenge. Let's get right into it.
guys, good morning. It's currently the next day. I decided to put my hair up in little braids with bows again. I thought it was so cute. Anyways, I started Once Upon a Broken Heart last night and oh my goodness, guys. It is so, so good. When I first started reading this, I wasn't expecting too much. I went into it thinking a cute little romance fairy tale, but no, it's not way more than that. It takes you on a lot of twists and turns. I love books that keeps you on your toes, and this book definitely does. And the tension between Jax and Evangeline so like electric you can definitely feel like there's something going on between them the push and pull makes you just want them to just get together already you know what i mean there's romance there's mystery there's fairy tale s vibes it's everything like when i was reading it i kid you not i did not even check the page number like that's how good it was i'm almost done with it i just have a couple more pages left but before we get into it i'm gonna go grab some matcha to kickstart my day and then we'll get back into reading so yeah let's go Hi guys, so it's a little later in the day today. I got a little hungry, so I decided to pick up some food. Picked up some Shake Shack. I'm really excited to dig in. I'm just gonna warm it up really quick because it got kind of cold on the drive home. And I also picked up some boba. Currently my favorite boba place right now. It's called Bako. Their aesthetic is so cute. Their drinks are really good as well. So I got the peachy oolong tea. Mm, it's so good. This one is really refreshing, especially during the spring, summertime. So I highly recommend it. I figured I'd do a little mukbang for you guys. I absolutely love Shake Shack. Just cross cut fries and I cooked this up again. I got kind of burnt, but it still smells amazing. Oh my gosh, my mouth is already like watering. I'm ready to dig in. So I forgot to grab some ketchup, so I'm just gonna use truff sauce to dip the fries and the burger in. So yeah. Mm. Mm. I haven't had it in a while, so it tastes amazing. You know that feeling when you haven't eaten something in a really long time and you've been craving it and you finally get that first bite? 
that's how I'm feeling right now. Like it just tastes like heaven in my mouth and I'm just so happy. Mm, so good, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I flew through this book so fast. It is amazing. I'm basically at a scene where it's just Evangeline and Jax and I reached this scene where it reminds me a lot of Hogwarts and Harry Potter vibes. There's a scene in Hogwarts where the food appears magically and there's a scene in this book where it kind of reminds me of that. I think you guys will know what I'm talking about but yeah this is one of my most favorite scenes because it involves Evangeline and Jax and it's just such a beautiful moment. It's honestly one of my favorite scenes. Just a very intimate and beautiful scene between them and I am just really eating it up. But anyways, I'm gonna try to finish this up tonight. I'm gonna go freshen up a little bit and then I'm gonna jump right back into it. The first one is Once Upon a Broken Heart. You guys, solid 5 out of 5. If I could give it 10 out of 10, I would give it 10 out of 10 because that's how obsessed I am with this series. I would give both of these a solid 5 out of 5. This series has me in a chokehold. Like, no kidding. So basically, I had to go for a quick Trader Joe's run in the middle of reading Ballad of Never After and I kid you not guys, I was speeding home because I just really wanted to know what happens next. I couldn't like stand still in Trader Joe's. I was just rushing through, grabbing all the groceries I needed, sped home, jumped back into the book. And I'm honestly so devastated that I have to wait a couple months before the third book comes out. It doesn't come out until like fall, so that's a really long time. So I'm kind of like sad that I read it too early because now I have to wait. The cliffhanger. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow. Stephanie Garber. Yeah! Thank you so much for making these books because they are hands down my new favorite of all time. And Evangeline and Jax, guys, they are they are my favorite couple right now and I can't stop thinking about them. I'm still living in their world. I just can't move on. The next book that I read was A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Moss. And unfortunately, I did not finish this. I got to about page, let me see. 96, which is part two of the book. I was able to read a good amount. I had a feeling I would not be able to finish this because it is 700 pages. Yeah, it's a really thick book. So I will continue reading this and I'll keep you guys updated on what I think, but it's really good so far. Basically, it's talking about how Fira seeks her revenge. So she has basically completed that part already. So now we figure out what happens next. I'm really excited to finish this and I'll keep you updated on this. 
Anyways, that concludes my reading for 24 hour challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>